This building here opened on October 17th, 1926. Maybe it's the gargoyles. It was a tuberculosis hospital. Whatever the reason, there's no hiding the eerie, unexplainable feeling you get at the Waverly Hills Sanatorium. Waverly is haunted. <laughs> if you stay here long enough, you'll probably find out for yourself. We've seen things, we've heard things, we've felt things. It's like it's not just a building. It's like it's alive. Let me out. Let me out. <laughs> If you did die in here, can you please say dead? <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! I wanted us one by one go on the fourth floor alone and walk to the other side. I'd go back. I'd go back. I already feel like there's someone in front of me with like a weird breeze. Oh. <laughs> what was that? Are you good? Oh, shit. What the fuck was that? Oh, oh, oh. No fucking way! The death tunnel elevator. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Somebody down there? Most of you know what this building is behind me. But for those who don't, we are at Waverly Hills. The Waverly Hills. The most haunted asylum in the U.S. But not only that, the most haunted place that could be in the entire world. Now, originally explorers, this place on top of the hill, AKA Waverly, wasn't actually this. It used to be an old one room schoolhouse for Major Hayes' daughter. And then after that, tuberculosis came. It started infecting many people. It was turning into a huge outbreak. So at first they built in 1910, a tuberculosis hospital that was only about one or two floors right here that we see. And it was only to house 40 to 50 patients. And then it became serious everyone was getting it and they realized they had to expand so then in 1926 they built three more floors on top of this and created the sanitarium tuberculosis hospital and that housed over 400 patients so from 1920s to 1960s this was taking care of tuberculosis and a lot of people were dying and because of that they built a death tunnel it was a tunnel that is literally under here that we're going to be going in that actually leads out of this area down below and that was pretty much to hide all the bodies coming in and out and also it was a supply run to keep the people not infected to come inside and drop things off it was that serious and then this whole place eventually closed in 1960s when they developed a vaccine for tuberculosis and then after that this place turned into a medical kind of center called Woodhaven and then that closed in 19 I think 80 and from 1980 to 2001 it been sitting here completely abandoned so for over 20 years this place sat here rotted and left here forgotten about until someone else bought it and turned it pretty much to what it is today a spook attraction also it's a really haunted place now I'm dead serious here I'm actually super scared, but I'm really excited at the same time. It's like conflicting emotions battling against each other. This is seriously one of the most haunted places in the entire world. And I'm here, but not only am I here, but my whole Beyond the Dark crew, except Joe, is with us today. We're gonna go meet up with everyone. We're gonna go get a proper tour of this place. And we're gonna be staying the night at Waverly Hills Asylum. Now, what the heck, guys? This place is freaking massive. Look at this. It's like a huge bat wing. And that's exactly what tuberculosis was. TB hospitals, I mean. They were all designed in like a wave, like a bat wing way almost. And that's because they believed in natural sunlight. They believed in fresh air. They had a ton of windows and holes everywhere because they thought that is the cure to fight tuberculosis. And also it just was good for their minds as well like that. So as much sunlight and as much fresh air as they can get here and keep it away from everyone. That's why it's another reason why it was built here in the middle of the forest on top of the hill was to stay away from everyone in the public was that they thought this could all help fight TB. But we're here and this is massive. This is a gothic architecture style. There is literally gargoyles on the roof. Brown the Dark's taking over, guys. This is serious. Subscribe if you're new here. Hit the freaking like button, guys. We put a lot of time and a lot of money into this series. So let's take over. Also, check out the merch. I got a stain on the, sh the shirt right here. That's from my Chick-fil-A, but it is what it is. Just looking up at the place, you can see how the th uh, last three floors aren't even finished. There's just holes through them. You can like fall in. 
I'm pretty sure we can't go up there, like we're not allowed, but I'm not sure, who knows. Look at this, WHS. Oh my God, check out this gargoyle. Just chilling right here. And I think the sign says like, what, keep out? The hell? Look at this, my God. Now remember this place housed over 400 patients and there has been a ton of deaths, so many deaths that they had to get a morgue put in. They had to build these tunnels. They have body shoots. It's very disturbing. This place is no joke. I've heard from all my friends and people on TV, everything. This is one of the most haunted places that they've been in their entire lives. And we're gonna be getting a tour from a guy who's gonna bring us around, show us this stuff. And even better than that, he's gonna be taking us to a place, a room that no one has seen in the last 21 years. And even Travel Channel and History Channel has tried to get access in and they couldn't. So this is super rare and different. I think the only people that been here was Sam and Colby. So besides them, they're our friends too. So it kind of works out, same gang. So yeah, it's really special. Wow, this is actually really interesting. This has to be original. Right above there is my favorite kind of glass windows. These are glass blocks and it's, it's a cross on it. We are now on the opposite side where I started the intro on, the back end. And this is also actually where they had the main lobby, which is gonna be down there. I'm just doing a huge loop around the place, showing you guys the outside before we actually head on in. Wow, this just gives me the chills. Something I see in like France or, you know, Germany, some of their asylums, but this is super awesome. And this is one of some of the nurses. These are statues, like almost memorials for what the nurses uh, would even wear and look like back in the day. And this is seriously their outfits. And there's even one up there. And there is the main lobby. Look how huge this place is and how far it extends. This is like a week long abandoned place. We have literally six hours here. <laughs> we have to get it all done. I'm hoping for the best tonight. I'm hoping for the craziest stuff. Hope someone's throwing up tonight. Possessed, I don't know. I just want it all to happen. Maybe I do, I don't know. All right guys, we're gonna head inside. We're gonna see John, meet the gang, get a tour of this place. We're going in. <laughs> <laughs> this is the one in the atrium where they would. Uh, by the way, this is one of the iconic shots. The natural look if you look the light coming from both sides. It's gorgeous. Oh, snap. Look at that. Look how far down it goes. These hallways are huge, dude. Oh, yeah. And it goes, it, it curves to the left again, it curves to the left, it curves to the left, and keeps going. It's almost like a curve line, but even more longer than a curve Yeah, yeah, exactly. So these windows yeah, were open all year round. Now feel this. This isn't even winter. Now imagine they're in beds, and they're in this, like, almost like a, a sleeping bag situation. Mm -hmm. And there's pictures online where there is snow I on these people. I see that, yeah. That was real because fresh air, and you gotta remember, think about this. Those trees weren't there to buffer the wind back in those days. So it was just coming in. Oh, it was coming in. So fresh air, and, 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 and they're big believers in that. And yeah. if, if you look that up now, if you go back to it, it's an old system called natural hygiene. And most people here don't talk about that, but they used to fast people back in the day. And most sanatoriums, this is why it's different. A sanatorium is different than an asylum. Right. Mm -hmm. Asylum was because they were mentally yep. insane they or off. To stay inside. Yeah. Yes. Like a hospital. Yes. Like, yeah. Sanatorium was a healing facility. Almost like rehabilitation. Correct. These are the original doors. This is the way it was, and this is this is what they would see. Now, there's a room here coming up. It's a famous room. We know this patient was here. Her name was Lois. Lois. This is Lois. Has anyone spoken to Lois since? Yes. People have claim to have spoken to Lois. There's like a bunch of stuff left behind for Lois. Flowers and wow. just a bunch of like things. Like a memorial. We have video from people who stayed here who escaped. Ooh. We call it escaped or, or basically survived. Mm -hmm. um, quite a few people did not. Mm -hmm. um, they would be here for years and it would take them a long time. And you know, the stories are true. They would try things like cracking their ribs open and to they would think that they could get them to breathe better and think that would help out. Um, they would do some types of letting blood out, thinking the disease was in the blood. Um, Dang, and just, they like, just didn't know anything. Yeah, they had to experiment. And at yeah. the time, that was, that was, the, that was the, the way of, the way, you know, of to, uh, this was state of the art. Yeah, exactly. At the time. Push forward. Yeah. How, how um, many people died, do you, would you say, total? 
Between six to ten. Six to ten hundred? Thousand. 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 Oh. Thousand. Yeah. <laughs> That's a lot. Yeah. That's, that really is a lot. There's a typo that said... 60,000, I know that's not accurate. However, you know, numbers back then could have been missed. So I'm saying anywhere between six and 10 right. is, a more, is a realistic number. Right. Probably closer to the six, but that's still a lot when you think about how long it was open, how many people died per day. Well, yeah. Um, and we have what's called, people call it a death tunnel. That was used for bringing supplies up so people wouldn't have to come up here. It carried food, it carried, you know, clothing, medical supplies. Uh, any type of supplies that uh, something like this could utilize, even entertainment like books, I'm sure, and things like that. Uh, but then, of course, there would be times that you didn't want people to see a, a dead body. Of right? course, you could have had two bodies a day stored away. So you go to the go downstairs, you go to the morgue. If they if the run was passed, they put them in the refrigerators downstairs next to the food. Oh my god! You know? And really? so then they would take them out, and then it would go down the elevator. As I was explaining to you guys, and it would go yeah. out the door go down the death tunnel and somebody would be in charge of that. And there would be hmm. an ambulance or a transport unit at the bottom. Right at the bottom, yeah. Already. Just waiting already. And the morgue still has the morgue table. We're gonna be able to see the morgue and stuff? There's several morgue tables down there. Seven? That, there's several. That There's two of those. They're not the original from here, but from another older okay. hospital. Right. However, the original pullout right case that they would hold them in is still there oh, okay so you can actually get in there oh i want to see that dude seth is going to actually lay in the morgue table Here's another one of the elevators. Huh? so what's up with the fifth floor anything the fifth floor is where the nurse some people say died a mysterious death some people said believe it she she hung herself some people believe it was just another way of, of dying she was the one that was supposedly pregnant um and there's various stories floating around on the internet about how she became pregnant uh, apparently, the death certificate, according to some who have seen it, said that there was a terminology they used back in the day because back then they were all about height of, looking good to society. Right. So you didn't want to embarrass your family. Mm -hmm. So they would use certain terms when they would, even on the death certificate. Some people have opinions that she was pregnant by a doctor. Okay. And I mean, they did live here together, so. Yeah, we all can, can figure out that probably did happen. And we do know there were conjugal visits between patients, you know, I mean, because, I mean, you, you could right. give it back and forth to each other. So, and they were trying to humanize the whole situation. So they probably let them do that as well. So if you're here with the nurses and the doctors and they give up their lives for that situation, and they left families on the outside, you know, you have human needs. So yeah. I'm sure that happened. But if they're, you know, if the doctor was, a certain way and the nurse was a certain way and it became an embarrassment and you know things could happen so to speak right so how do they think she died though some people believe she, she hung herself okay that's the legend with the with the baby still inside of her though no? um i'm not quite sure on that because you, you have okay. different you have different right. thoughts some people okay. believe that and What's... the baby died also that the baby the baby died a little bit before that and mm -hmm. it happened and she that might have kind of caused, caused her to uh how should i say that politely Kind of lose it, I guess right. you would say. She just kind of yeah, like that's it. She fell into it, fell into depression. depression. Exactly. Just... Yo, that train needs to get the <laughs> fuck out. Yeah. The train is so annoying. But it is. Not, a lot of these places are built in like these really rural, like I know. Yeah, all the TV houses. That train would have brought supplies and stuff. Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. So this is above the entry entryway for the lobby. Oh, dude, the gargoyles. Yeah, the gargoyles. Oh yeah. These are original. Oh. All the gargoyles are original. Oh, to the building? Yeah. Amazing. Oh, I thought they weren't. No, in my head, I was yeah. like, no, they're really I just didn't think they were. Yep. Dude, look at the detail on these things. I know. All the scales and everything. They're just looking out. And apparently, what gargoyles were supposed to like guard. Mm -hmm. They kind of keep evil spirits out, yeah. right? Yep. Okay. Yep, they were. I knew that because of Paris. <laughs> so the last floor, guys. And why do you find the fifth floor so intriguing? I don't know. Something about it. Could be like, I'll give you an example. It's like, this is what I love. <laughs> <laughs> Snap. I love when it opens and closes. I don't know why. I like that. I just peed a little bit. Yeah. I just, just peed a little bit. The roof. Welcome to the roof where the children would play, where they had swing sets out here. Whoa. There were the kids. EVPs sets. tonight would be sick on up, up here. And here is your world. They might like the music box. 502. 502. What's up with 502? That's where the nurse had her mysterious oh. death. This the is pregnant the nurse. This is just my personal opinion. This is not the opinion of Waverly or anyone else. Right. Uh, that something did go awry. That it was quite possibly an, an affair situation. Right. It didn't work out. 
highly charged emotions back in a time when you know families even though you're up here you still wanted to look good to society for a doctor to part from where his family was and do things like that it was considered a big no-no back then so for that person to reject the other person and then she went into ultra depression right. something could have happened mysteriously some people believe hanging other people believe other other forms of death i tend to look realistically at some of that which would make sense mm -hmm. hanging suicide of some sort or something welcome to, to the hell house oh i was gonna say the haunt because <laughs> it literally we had two different ideas yeah <laughs> watch that because you might uh, yeah, yeah, it's rust. Tetanus you got your tetanus shots, right? Ah! Josh, he ah, literally man. just said not to touch it. What are you doing? <laughs> These were literally, literally dead bodies. <laughs> what? Yeah. This, that's They that's look creepy. like the Titanic. Look at their rust. Yeah, they do. It's crazy. Dude, this is the creepiest it. thing ever. It's oh my nun. god, it's the nun! It is. I love it's it. literally the nun! This is nuts. Wait, wait, what happened? In this vault. Whoa, that's, I didn't even realize that. Not in the vault. Not sure. The legend is that someone was left in the vault. They yeah. left them in there? Yeah. This is a real vault. Yeah, this is a real vault. Oh, right. Yeah. 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 So, what's the story then? Do you know anything? Or? Two, we don't know the whole story of what they said that somebody actually had left in overnight and they like either had a heart attack or panic. Uh, and it ended up being longer because they didn't open the vault up and someone said they found the whole weekend. Whoa. Um, I don't know if any of that's true, but. Um, Dude, think about it. They were literally testing for tuberculosis in patients' blood in this room right, right here. here. Doctors, right in front of us. Like, yeah. they could still be right here. Whoa. This is the real one, huh? This is a murderer. Dude. The yellow Freaking yellow body bag. Body's here. Take them here. We go down. This is basically the entrance the to the death tunnel. Oh my god. If you the hell? turn your light off. Oh. Dude. At the end of the hallway, there's the door to the death tunnel. No fucking that way. White door down there. Don't open. Yeah. Dead inside. We're just going in. Holy shit, that's dark. 700 feet down, and you're more than welcome to do it. I've done it at us. We're going to do that later. Imagine like a conveyor belt, like you would, a ski lift, a ski, if you've ever skied before. And they can sit up there, and they've got the pulleys. String uh, wire, oh, yeah. wire and, kind of other, yeah. and they would have hooks and other devices that would latch on to the actual uh, units. And at one point, this had tracks like large wheels, it's like gurney wheels, and mm. they were just like literally just like this. Holy you know, shit. You know, like, you just walk your body all the way down. That's... And they would be reversed if they were coming up with supplies like medical and food and stuff. This is so insane. Guys, we are in a place that no one has seen in the last 21 pretty much years. Actually, except Sam and Colby. People. Yeah, except yeah. Sam and Colby, but... This is where the bodies were brought down from the morgue into here, so the patients wouldn't see that. The patients were brought here. They were taken out here this way. Then they were taken up the steps, up these steps, out the door, and the death tunnel, which was open and exposed to the outside elements, you go take, take the body straight down there so the patients couldn't see. Wow. We're this literally right there. So we don't know if this could technically be haunted or not technically oh, yet. Absolutely. Because no one has really actually done a ghost mm -hmm. investigation here. Not good really, not at all. So <laughs> I want to spend a good amount of time. Absolutely, tonight. dude. I, I, Being I, I, I would say maybe three people in the entire history versus thousands upon thousands who've been here in the world. Yeah. Think about that, dude. Let's go. Welcome. I'm uh, glad I got to show you guys down there, and um, you know. Have fun with all whatever activity you guys get. All right. Cool. All right. Thanks again, man. Thanks, man. Thanks. Let's Seth, get it. Great. Hell Casey, yeah. great to meet you. All right. This is, this is sick, it. Dude. This, this is, is it. This is the moment right now. So, guys, there's actually going to be a little bit of a delay in the investigation of this place because Josh forgot our EVP recorder, the one that we use to get all of our good stuff, our good responses. He forgot it at the hotel. And I packed the rest of the gear. So, you know who the smarter person in the group is? What do you think about Josh forgetting the gear? Stupid. You're stupid. Stupid. So just to pass the time, we're actually going to go into the hallway with the night vision camera and just sit there for a few minutes and just see if anything happens, just to see if we can find anything. Okay. You shouldn't be. Ah, here we go. Holy shit. This is actually kind of already creepy. It really is. We just left base and it's quiet. Very quiet. Let's just see if we can get this to actually go off. Yeah, if anyone wants to play the piano for us.
That's kind of weird. My name is Seth. We both wanted to come here to visit this place and possibly you for a very long time. And I'm really happy to be here. I know you might not have been happy to be here back in the day, but if you're still here, can you give us a sign? No. Three? Oh, I heard one. Please don't be afraid of us. We don't mean you any harm. We're just visiting. Would it be better for you if I turned off my light? If you want me to turn the light off, can you give me... Whoa. All right, I'm gonna turn my light off. If this makes you more comfortable, can you please give me a sign? Can you get closer to that little box? Make a different color go up? Did you just hear that? Do you want to use that device to communicate with us? Touch it for yes. Oh, they touched it. If you can touch it a little bit harder so you can make a noise, you're so close. Just touch it a little harder. That was a full on voice. Yeah. Like it actually made me think that someone's actually here, like a trespasser or something. Yeah. If you want to communicate with us, could you please come up to the red light next to the piano and touch it for us? You're also welcome to use the energy from our devices, our cameras, our lights, anything, if it helps you communicate. Thank you. Thank you. Were you a patient here at Waverly Hills? Touch it if yes. Were you a nurse? Whoa. Yes, you were a nurse. Thank you. Were you happy here? Were you sad here? Maybe it's kind of a neutral thing. Hmm. Did you enjoy your job? Did you like helping people and attending to them when needed? It did go off. Thank you. Did you have a family on the outside that you could not see? That's so sad. Wow. Thank you. We're really sorry that you couldn't see your family while you worked here. I know that that's probably very heartbreaking. I hope you're able to go visit them now and see where they are. Are you stuck here at Waverly Hills? Are you still able to go? Do you still go see your family now? Maybe it's like a thing where she or he goes to their family and comes back because it, it responded when we said can we go see maybe it's crazy like you can tell that it's actual communication because they're responding to our questions mm -hmm. like right when we had, like asked them to we're here creating a documentary for the world to see so that nobody forgets your stories we have Nur nurse? nurse is that you we have two more friends that are here with us. You might have seen us walking around with them earlier in the day. They're going to come back here with another piece of equipment that's going to help us talk to you. You will be... They just touched it. Would you like that? Would you Would be able to hear you? I'm seeing things now and I just, I'm, it's kind of freaking me out. The shadow play, it's just freaking me out. We're gonna head back to our base camp and wait for our friends to return. Just wanna say thank you.
to the nurse that communicated with us and whoever else is trying to communicate with us, we appreciate it. But we'll be back. Please stay here until we come back. Thank you. So you want to know what happened while you were gone? Yeah, what? Someone ate the food or something? <laughs> no, even better. So me and Casey went into the atrium on the first floor, like the outside thing next to their bedrooms, and we got REM pod responses. No way. We did. No way. We did, bro. We talked to a nurse. They were communicating through REM pod. Yo, <laughs> hang, on, let, hang on, one minute, one minute, I'm just taking a few bites, we're going back in and we're going to get some good evidence. Yeah, we are, dude, it was freaking nuts, oh, it really man. was. You guys, <laughs> guys, so we have all the ghost gear, I mean, dude, look at John's gear, he's bringing the crate. It's heavy too, I don't know if I can last all He's bringing the freaking crate. <laughs> and here we go, we're now all alone, it is 9pm, and we're in Waverly Hills. Now, really quick, I know how I said we have to start off upstairs, but really quick, let's go to where you got the REM pod thing first. Okay, no problem. I just want to see if we can get that response. Here we go. Oh, right in the day room? Oh, it's in the day room too? Yeah, right here, dude. Oh, I said the day room could be big. Yeah. It, I had the REM pod right there. Right there? Okay. Right there. No, we didn't bring the ball. I have a ball. Oh, I have a cat ball. It's not working. These are brand new. Dead ass. Hang on, does the other one work? Okay. That's fine. Dang, that makes me upset. All right, we're starting off in the day room. Definitely believing. Oh, oh, what the? Now it works. Hang on, you know what? I'm gonna leave this on the t on the chair. This is already kind of crazy though. If our gear is messing up like that, that is weird. It's cold now. I know. Oh, that's it. That's the sound that we were getting. Already? What is that? That's a motion sensor. What was that? Hang on. Let me figure out what that was. Which way is it facing, John? This isn't me. That, it's facing that way. Which device? That one. It's a motion sensor. No, because it, it went off when I was in here. So hang on, hang on. What if I come back here? It was already The rem. Now that's going on. And the voice recorder is on right now, too. Okay. All right. I'll put this out there, too. Is the nurse here with us right now? So thanks for watching. Constant. Dude, I'm telling you, this is how it was when you guys were gone. We were talking and this is what was happening. I mean, technically, this is their like most known room where they want to play and have fun. This is their happy place, so. We're gonna play that back. Just yeah, let's see if he actually got anything. I know we're talking, so. Okay. Uh, I heard it say let me out or something. Let me out. Oh my god! How can we hear that over us talking? Yeah, it's louder than our voices. Dude, my REM pod's going off right now. It will not stop. That's so crazy. Okay, so I'm gonna turn that that REM pod's going off so crazy. I'm gonna try to change it up a minute. And just turn it off. There's no way it was on the bus because why would he be saying let me out? Yeah, I nailed it. Yeah. Alright, hit play, we're not gonna talk. Alright, it's recording now. Start over because we were talking. Right. I want it to be a full, legit one. Okay, recording now, setting voice recorder down. We think we heard you say, let me out. Can you come up to the red light, talk into it loudly, slowly, and clearly, and tell us? If the nurse that me and Casey. Whoa. As soon as I went to go ask that question. If the nurse that me and Casey were talking to, holy shit, the temperature is stuck at 666. Why? No matter what time of year. All right, all right, let me ask the question. If the nurse that me and Casey were talking to is still here, can you tell us your name into the voice recorder with the red light? Do 
Dude, we haven't done a spirit box in a while. I don't remember the last time we sat with you guys and did a spirit box session. Just just one spirit box and we should we go to fifth floor. We were just using this earlier. It's not doing anything. It's not working no more? No. Dude, we were just using it. Dude, my ball broke. What the heck's going on? It's brand new. Dude, it's not a coincidence. It's like all of our gear. Nothing's working. That's kind of odd, honestly. What about the other stuff? We have the other one we can use? But dude, honestly, I'm not even kidding you. Off camera, we were using that spirit box. Just before we came. Yeah, yeah, he built, we, we were literally using it. I know it works. Damn it. That's so weird. I was actually looking forward to it. I know. You know what's really weird? What? I just remember this. I told when we were here talking, do you remember when I said that if they want to use the energy of our devices to communicate that they can? Yeah. Is it a coincidence that all of our stuff is dying right now? Well, I mean, I mean one of my balls is broken now, apparently. Yeah. Oh, man, it's going to really He just lost it. his spirit box that's brand new. I mean, literally, it's brand new. I've seen it work. He was showing me it. That's so odd. Good thing you got two balls, Josh. <laughs> I got one more left. <laughs> oh, no, I do have three. Yes, I lost one. You got four the third ball? Yep. <laughs> We're still good. <laughs> still got two left. Anyone's here? Can you come up this and say hello? Were you a patient? I guess. Or I just sounded like a high pitch yeah. What's your name? Help. It sounded like a kid. Yeah. Do you miss your family? Hi. Thirsty. Thirsty? Okay. We can get you a drink. <laughs> Holy shit! They're saying that on the radio. You know it's real. They don't say that. Do you like swearing? Who are you talking to? Are you talking to her? Fuck. Fuck. Oh my god. That thing scans so fast too. Like yeah. Fuck. Fuck. Holy shit, dude! <laughs> is the woman that keeps swearing? Is that the nurse? The REM pod. What the fuck was that? Did you just hear that? Whoa, everything's going on. Is that a rock? Is that a rock? It sounded just like that. What the f- And the REM pod's going off again. No way. Yeah, Wait, let's talk. Who threw that? Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Holy shit. Yeah. Yo, look, it slowed down. The scan speed slowed down because now we're starting to hear radio. It's like they left the room after they threw it. Yeah. Coward. 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 Maybe if they're throwing shit at us, we should probably leave and go to the floor and go into the house. Yeah. Yeah, seriously. So this should be it, right? Yep, 512, 502. Here we go. We're gonna set up camp now. So right now we are in the room where the nurse hung herself and she had a kid. Um, don't know if the kid was even alive. Uh, we don't know too much about it, but we're gonna try our best here in the top floor. This is actually also where the kids played in the playground and had the swing set up here. If anyone's in here with us that's dead, can you go up to the red light and tell us what your name is? What happened in this room? Did a nurse die here? Who was killed here? This question is for the nurse that died here. I want to know, and a lot of people other want to know, were you murdered? Did you commit suicide because you lost your baby? Or was it because you were embarrassed or ashamed? Is your baby with you now? 
My dad? <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's a like whole a, girl's voice. Yeah, it's it's a girl's like three voice. words or four words. I, I hear I died in here. Sestries are good at picking out the words. The vibration <laughs> was crazy though. We should do one more. Yeah, let's do one yeah. more. See if we can get Wait, a definitive. Wait, what if we put it Because there, there was no here. way it was me. I only talked to one. Yeah, no. Yeah, I don't know, Sarah. Up. Remember the last time we did the higher up one? It worked. Was really, and it worked? Where the girl hung herself. Whoa. That was weird. I feel like, did you touch? Dude, I feel like someone like, like did this to me. What, touched like, your touched leg? Your yeah, it went up like this. Like, no, I thought you did it. No, I swear, I had this hand in the, I had my hand in this cam, I had a camera in this end, and then I had this that hand was, up here near my head. Weird. That was weird. You really I felt something? I went like, yeah, it was like this. No fucking I way, I swear to man. God. I mean, I believe I mean, you, but holy it's shit. it's whatever, I just, that was just really weird to me. Like, swear to God, I felt <laughs> your arm, I thought you just went like this No, dude, me. I swear to God, I did not touch you. That's creepy. All right. And it was, all right, yo, let's place it right here. <laughs> well, that now we got we got to figure out if somebody way. touched you. I thought I heard you say you died in here. If you did die in here, can you please say dead? Holy died. shit! I fucking died. It literally said like it's so scary. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> that's so scary, bro. It's like it was sick of being asked it and it just said, I fucking died, died, died. Like, and what? All, oh my God. We all heard it out loud. loud. You know what's crazy about that is that we all heard it out loud. Out loud. And we yeah. heard, yeah, out loud. Yeah. So that's how you know it, it's legit. Like, we all heard the same thing. Dude, that's a creepy one. Oh my God. <laughs> that's creepy. I'm trying to think why awesome. they would say that. Like, yeah, what you said works too, but like, but what the if thing they... is, it's a guy's voice, not yeah. even the nurse. Well, what if it was the doctor? The doctor could have killed the nurse because the doctor cheated and he didn't want the kid. Just an assumption. I actually have an idea though I want to do. Huh. I wanted us one by one go on the fourth floor alone and walk to the other side with a voice recorder. Alone though. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta go first. Should nah. Have a <laughs> no, no flashlight. No flashlight. No flashlight. Fuck that. I'm, I'm dead. dead. Josh, no. No, because the, you yeah, can you still see outside. Do you remember the last time we did something? I like went the outside? whole way in Penhurst. No, you didn't. Roll the clip. I don't know, guys. I can't see anything. On some real shit, I can't see anything but the camera itself. And just my REM pod. I don't even want to turn it on. Oh my god, I'm actually really freaking scared. There's no way people are actually going to do this. We're going to use my flashlight to get down to the end. I, I cannot do this. So I did it, but I did it with the lights on. Oh, <laughs> I, couldn't, I, I couldn't do it. I could not do it, bro. It was too scary. There's no way, right? I'm gonna say it, it honestly wasn't bad, and I, I'm just gonna say you guys do it now. Just take my camera and go do it. Just have fun. All right. So I'm at Skippy's door now and turning the light off. All right, Casey, did you actually do it? Really? Yes, I did. It's on video if it is. Yeah, I know. So when I did it, I had the flashlight on. <laughs> you have. <a> <laughs> 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 Alright, so she definitely made it the whole way. I didn't, but we rolled the clip so you can see how I got scared. I want to redeem herself. So there's actual light yourself. here. Well, you redeem yourself, motherfucker. Well, look at, look at it. It's so bright outside, kind of. So we'll be able to see a little bit. So what? we don't need light. Alright, alright. Let's start it one by one. Just We're all going to attempt it. But he's not going to go first. I'm not going first, though. But no, he'll he, make he, somebody he else do it. Right. Right. That way, if somebody else gets content before he does, he doesn't have to oh, do it. Good. He'll be like, oh, good. That's, <laughs> oh, that's good enough for me. That's fine. <laughs> yeah. it, makes the, it makes the cut. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, yeah, so John goes first then. I've already lived a good life, so <laughs> yeah. that's okay. So, You're right. All right, good luck. You go down one floor, you walk oh. over to the other side and record it. Fuck, look at this. <laughs> if you have any issues, just yell. Oh, okay. We will come get you. You'll probably hear me cry. This is intense. I didn't even get to the bottom of the Oh shit, seriously? Seriously? So I'm just bang down here. Like loud bang. And I haven't even gone downstairs. <laughs> it's like, come on down, John. Let's have some fun. This is fucking scary, guys. Here, I'm gonna turn the spirit box on. If anyone's in here and they're dead, can you say dead into this? Dead. Thank you, I heard you. I feel like there's shit like all around me right now. Who's here? Can you help? Can you help? If you'd like to talk into this, can you say talk? I keep feeling like somebody's behind me. If you're a patient here, can you say patient? Alright, I'm gonna shut this off. Thank you. 
just gonna push record. Start walking. If anyone's here, you can talk into this. I'm gonna play it back. I'll be able to hear you. I'm at the point right now where I can't even remember which way I've gone. Kind of lost. Something just touched me. Did you hear it? It was like, <laughs> touched my pants. I felt you. Who's here? I'll play that back. I think it says, before I feel like I got touched, it says touch something. Touch him. It says touch him in the leg. Then I felt something touch me. Something down here touched me, and before it did, it said touch him. That's pretty crazy. All right, so I'm at the end, and I'm gonna walk back. All right, I'm gonna push record while I'm walking. This is fucking sketchy. Just waiting for one of them to come down and just scare me. It's hard to hold the camera, the spirit box, and the voice recorder. I thought I felt something touch my arm a little bit. Alright, I'm gonna play that back for a minute. I did touch you. They said I did touch you. Recording now. Are there any patients here? Oh, I heard a voice on that. Alright, I'm gonna play this back. I think I go back up here. Guys, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Okay. How was it? Um, so, <laughs> so I was walking down the spare box. I did the ask. They were dead to say dead. And right away, right away, a girl says dead. No way. Oh, shit. You and, have it recorded? Yeah. And then I'm walking it, and I, you can hear, you hear something shuffle and touch my leg. No. And then, and then when I play the EVP back, it says, it says touch him. No way. Yeah, no way. on the voice recorder. You have it? Yeah. It's... So you played it back for that, the whole read, the EVP? Yeah, so there's a couple. I want to hear it now. Even okay. off camera, I just See if I can it. find it. Like... Dude, that's kind of scary. You were just playing it backwards by yourself and I stuff. I felt it like, I, you see me kind of jump a little bit. Because you can hear it like it's like a shh. And it's down by my leg like it did you. And I was like shh. And oh, then, and then see? I'm like, see? someone just I... touched me and it said, and it says, uh, uh, it says something about touch him, touch him. And I thought I heard it say um, something about a leg towards the end, but I gotta figure out where. Yeah, let's hear it back. I'm gonna go not next. <laughs> I made it all the way to the end. It felt like forever. Wait, so where did you go? Did you go down this way? I went down you? and then all the way down to the end. Oh, you went that way? Yeah. Okay. And then all the way back. I don't know where you don't have to do it, Casey. You don't want <laughs> yeah, to. No, you, you don't have to do it. You, I'll do it. No, you probably shouldn't. But because you already did it, and everyone's already seen you do something by yourself. That was another video somewhere yeah. else. Yeah, this is way really hills. Too, while yeah, Seth. Why are you sticking up for Josh right now? He's throwing, I, I he's throwing do down it. there because you're gonna listen. This is how it's gonna go, guys. She's actually gonna get stuff, and then it's gonna be crazy, and then Josh is gonna be like, "Well, we already had two people do it, so I don't <laughs> really need to do it." Dude, it's intense, and I've been doing this a while, and it's, it's intense. <laughs> Oh, it's like Transylvania. He came intense. back up here and you could tell he was yeah, fucking freaked could, out. Yeah. I know, I haven't I seen you scared that much. I was trying not to react so they would fuck with me more. So I'm just like, okay, it's just my leg. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> yo. oh my god. Dude, no, I can't do this shit, dude. This is so scary. Yo, Casey, if you can do it, go ahead though. That'll be sick. I'll but it's up it. to you. No, yo, send, send it. it send it. Okay. You wanna go by yourself? Hell fucking no, but I'm not gonna tell oh, you to geez. do it. Oh god. <laughs> Actually, yeah. I don't feel like dying yet. I can't pass the door. I'm like stuck right here. I'm like frozen. Oh, you're scared, right? Yeah. I cannot see anything. I keep pausing right now because I'm honestly terrified. Is anyone down here with me? I hear walking right in front of me. All right, listen guys, we all know I'm good at doing this stuff, but uh, this is way worse than Penhurst. I feel like I'm being watched so much right now. Is anyone here? You can come talk to me if you want. My name's Casey. Do you want to come tell me your name? 
Something just grabbed my back. I felt a tug in the back of my sweater. Was that you? Were you a patient here? Can you tell me about yourself? Where are you from? This area is beautiful. Have you always lived in Kentucky? Well, I made it. If you're here, can you tell me why do you stay here? Do you like being here? Or are you stuck? My friends and I, we just came to talk to you. We want to hear your story. We want to hear what you have to say. How long have you been here? Do you know what year it is? Guys? Yeah. Do you have light? Yeah. I made it. You did it. It was definitely scary. It's a tent. Oh, yeah. Was it scarier than Penhurst? Yeah. It's you feel like things oh are all around you. Like... At one point, like, turn around. I felt this. Like, a full tug. Oh my God. You felt a tug on your that back? That yeah. surprise me at all. Like, I, I stopped at one point and I was like, I was like, alright, like, I'm just gonna push through this. And I start going and then I felt like a tug on my sweater and I was like, okay. Like, it was telling you, like, don't, don't do it. Yeah. yeah. Look, I can't even hold the camera right. Let Did me you take get it. Kind of like disoriented a little bit. A little bit, dude. Holy <laughs> fuck, Casey. <laughs> I'd go back. I'd go back. I'd go back. <laughs> That's right here, yeah. Touch. 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 Yep. I heard it from over here. You're a, it's, it called you a bitch. Let's hear that again. You can come talk to me if you want. Holy shit. I, I, hear, I hear you're a bitch. Yeah. My friends and I, we just came to talk to you. I don't think I can handle that. That is it's, scary. It's really weird because I didn't listen back to it like you did. So like hearing it. After. After. Dude. <laughs> that is so scary. Yeah, it is. I said you're a bitch. It's more scary than anything. The bitch was so clear when I said yeah. bitch. But the I'd turn back or I'd go back. I'd go, I'd back. go back. Jesus Christ. And it was Christ. the second I started walking, too. I don't think I could this do place that. This is pretty legit, too. What are you saying, Josh? <laughs> I don't think I can, can ever. Do it, I don't think I can ever do that. Just keep looking at the screen walking, you'll be Yeah, yeah, just, just, just do that. Just look at the screen, bro, just keep walking. That is Don't look away from the screen, because that's ever. scary. <laughs> just can't, camera to the face. <laughs> yes, we can. Let me just try it. <laughs> you can do it, bro. There's no way I got it, but I'm gonna try a little bit. I'm not using a flash. You should go down and provoke. Dude, this is bullshit. You got this. <laughs> okay. Holy fuck. I don't think I actually have this. Oh my god. There's no fucking way. I know I'm overexposed. But there's no way I could do this. What was that? Dude, I have chills down my back. Oh my god, this is the most scariest fucking thing. I literally feel like there's someone right here. I feel like this crazy weird breeze. Yo, no fucking way. I already feel like there's someone in front of me with like a weird breeze. See. Oh, dude, I felt the tingles in front of my face, oh, and I felt like there was someone right in front of me. No and way. I seen this on the Sid 99. I don't know. I just, hey, let me just play it back and see if I hear anyone. Yeah. What the fuck? Oh, that's when you heard that breeze. Yeah. Did that say turn back? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hang on. I told you. I told you there's someone in front of me. I seen it and felt it. Hang no on. No fucking way, dude. I, hang on. Oh, turn back! Oh my god, I want to leave here. Oh my god! Oh my god! Dude, it said, but I, it's, dude, no, because I felt him in front of me. Dude, I felt him in front of me. Dude, that was scary. Hang on. 
You might have broke this device, but I I felt the whole fucking ghost as size of me, and it was like like right here, like the tingles in my face and everything. Holy fuck. And then you hear it. It's yeah. Crazy part. Oh, it's good. Okay, we're good. It, it said good. good. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Okay, I'll, I never do that. Was the only drop of that whole device ever, but it it deserved the drop. Dude, I was freaking out. Listen, listen, that's how that's how fucking scared Josh is right now. That he literally dropped the most expensive piece of gear that we own. Like, dude, it's no joke. Dude, it I at all. You can tell I on his fucking it. face just how I creeped out it. he is. Dude, let's look at his eyes. Dude, dude he's like. like he's Yo, all right, we're gonna just, find it. Let's gonna go back it. to it. You're gonna hear me say it. Let's just play the whole thing over again. I know you something right here. It's not this crazy whippers. Yeah. Come back. Oh, that's a breathy voice. Holy fuck. That's one of the craziest things I've ever experienced in my life, too. Damn. Yeah, well, it's so cool because everything just goes with the EVP. Like, me getting touched, you feeling the, the breath from it. Yeah. I know. How long do we have? Two hours. Two hours. Oh, okay. Should we just do 15 minutes on that floor together as a group, but just stay in the hallway? And just try to talk to who's ever down there? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Good on shit. If something happens, we just get the fuck off the fourth floor. Facts. All right, so we're decided to man up as a crew and go down to the fourth floor and just stay in the middle hallway. Um, we got all the gear. We packed back up. We're going to try to use our stuff done. We're only going to be there for 15 minutes. It's not, it, our time is getting closer to the end, but we have enough time to do everything. Fourth floor wasn't even on our list, but we just, we do, we're having the best Waverly experience ever. It doesn't matter. I was going to say, we should just stay like right around here. Like I'm already fucking dizzy on this floor. Like it's so weird. Like I'm already like, like wobbly and losing my balance. Yeah, it's, just, it's the weirdest freaking energy feeling here. Let's just All right. I put that down and we'll put a music box now. What was that? It was just like a doorbell. Bells. What the fuck was that? Dude, I that heard was, that. That was like a, a piano like a, playing. You're right, it was a piano playing. Yeah, that was a piano or, playing. Or like a bell or something. Like when do the pianos piano. work in here? No, none of the pianos work. Where do you want us to go? <laughs> Dead center of the hallway. <laughs> Come on, let's see if you can move it. Well, what was that? Are you good? Shuffling behind you, right? That was like running. What was that? There's definitely moved. There's footsteps down there. Honestly, the energy here is no bullshit. It's just so evil. Like, let me... It's like screaming. What, what the fuck was that? That was a scream. That's on video. Scream. It was nuts. That, that scream was insane. That was the... You heard the scream? Oh, yeah. I was gonna say, I have actually never been this scared at a band of blaze like this. Yeah, dude, I'm freaked like, out. Even though I was feeling like shit in the demon house and they were like messing with me, this is like an evil. This is like worse than anything I've ever like experienced. Alright. Yeah. Uh, Alright. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <gasps> what was that? Somebody said hi. No, there was no, a it was bang a down here. Bang. Yeah, but right when you said that, I heard a hi. You got on video? Did you record? I didn't record that. I've been recording. Okay. Guys, there was a fucking bang at the end of the hallway. So we got a bang down here. And we have a piano. We still have to figure out where the piano sound came from. Did anyone walk by? But I, they would be dry. Oh, oh shit! Holy fuck! Damn, that was a lot of shit. Yeah, yeah, that's close. Cool. Dude, so much I'm happening yours. right now. Dude, I'm, like, I'm freaked out. This place is scary as fuck. I got chills. Should we try an EVP right here? Yeah, I didn't even think of it, so much on. shit's going on. You have it, right? Yeah. Let's just stay right here for one minute. So Are you still recording on that one? Yep. Okay. If there's another ball, we should put in there. Why is there a chair? Like, some nice chairs. Do you want me to hold the balls? I'll hold your balls, John. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll just fall there. Sure. Well, that's not gonna fall. The chair fucking levitates. What the fuck was that? <gasps> no fucking way! The, the tennis ball! The, the smallest fucking ball moved! You gotta get the fuck out of here. Have you seen it? You saw it with your own eyes? I saw it, bro! My heart. <laughs> that's... That's insane. That's the second time in our lives we had the ball come yeah. down. And it think about it, it us. stayed the whole time until we were done with the EVP. I know, I know. And it was loud. It was I know you loud, did, man. <laughs> Alright, we need to go to the bang now. Yeah, we screw need this, to watch. Screw everything we here. We need to figure that out. Oh. Wait, I'm gonna leave my ghost gear here because we have to come through here anyway. 
We don't need yeah, gear. <laughs> Yo, Joe That's our, here, be like, Dude, Joe scared. would be losing his mind if he was here. Oh my god. But seriously, it's like, this is unreal. Can that one open? No. Well, this, the bag came from the opposite side, right? I thought it was down here. It came from this side. Oh, did it? No. no. So I just don't understand what happened. That's the fire escape, so that's locked up. So the bang, I don't know how it would have happened then. I mean, it could have just came from one of the doors, but it's like, like would it happen again right now with the wind? Like, even right now, it's a bit windy. Exactly. Yeah. Why it would... It would have been... It would keep like, happening. I mean, maybe this door, but like... That would be like... It would literally have to be picked up and slammed. Yeah. Well, it is really a little bit. Which it is. No way. It's rocking. We can play a little game of soccer. If you want to kick it over here, Holy we'll kick it Holy fuck, back. it's moving and there's no wind. Yeah, it's in between two walls. Oh, this moved. Holy shit! Oh. Holy fuck! It's moving. This is no fucking joke. Do you want to kick it over here? Come on, roll up this way. Close. Close. Oh my it's god. Is it moving or no? I don't, I don't think it's, it's moving cool. anymore. I'm gonna cry if we don't move the ball. Uh, the ball, please! <laughs> Holy fuck, the ball moved. Oh my fucking god. All right, this is how it's going down. We made our plan. We have an hour left. 30 minutes in the tunnel of death. 30 minutes is how we split the 21 year old room up in a little bit and stuff like that. What the fuck are we doing right The now? morgue. Dude, this is amazing. I am loving so like every minute of this. It's, it's definitely one of the best ghosts. It's the ghost that I'm never gonna forget, that's for sure. And this might be the world's most dangerous or haunted place because this is the first time I was like off camera. We were like, can you imagine even provoking here? Like you gotta literally pray to God for this one. Like I feel like someone could actually hurt you here for the first time. I actually feel like that. If you had a death wish, just go to the fourth floor and provoke the spirits. I feel like that's how scary that floor yeah. is. All right, this is it. No one has filmed here except three people and yeah, over 21 years. This is all untouched. This is just us. Guys, nobody gets to be where we are right now. Yep. This is extremely special access. And if you're watching this, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. You're probably never going to get to see this in person. But <laughs> this right here is the death tunnel elevator. This is where all what six thousand bodies yeah. of the people that died rode this 10, elevator bodies that died here were right here transported to the death tunnel boom great number to start off on holy great fuck it was 666 wait why is it already starting off on 666 never had that holy shit yeah, just starting off on 666. In the death tunnel. And it's in the, the worst area to ever start it off on. That goes really far down, dude. Just gonna whip it, bro. Oh, this goes far. Wait, there's an Elvis statue? <laughs> oh my god! There is a legendary statue of Elvis. Why is there a random Elvis statue here? For no reason. This is why you come to Waverly. Secret Elvis statue, no one's seen in 21 years. So, this is it. The final, final of the final. This is the final mission. The grand finale. The this, death tunnel. This is where six to 10,000 people were laid out, yep. rolled out to their death. Thousands, hundreds, 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 hundreds. Oh. <laughs> Let's do this, boys. I mean, a lot of gruesome shit happened here. It is definitely eerie. I mean, you could understand that 6,000 bodies were rolled down here underground to hide from the people, dropped into an ambulance, and taken away. So over here, they had like a conveyor belt kind of ski lift going on, and they would roll the body down this shaft, 700 feet, all the way down there. And dude, honestly, they, like he was saying, Seth was saying, they kept this a secret from all the patients. And like he says, like a lot of them did die and they did get rolled down here. Holy crap. Holy crap. Let's 
still Stop. fucking going. take the whole night how is that possible yeah after like 30 10 seconds <laughs> oh my god but like is there like a point where like we don't know like where's the haunted spot like here down there See, the middle dude that just gives you an idea on how long it took to get the body from here to there is there anybody down there in the tunnels did you hear it mm -hmm. i did it actually I'm loud. yeah it was like mm -hmm. Echo. Mm -hmm. Do you want us to go down there? Do you want us to go down there? Was your body brought through these tunnels? Are you trapped in these death tunnels? Should we stay up here and not go down? Help. Right off the bat. Who the fuck was that? They said dead. They said, said dead. dead. Yes, clear as day. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? That's clear as day. It just said dead or death. It said dead right in front of us. Yes. Definitely said dead, so clear. Holy fuck. That was the craziest, that was the clearest response all night though. Yeah, well, That was dead was not our voice, and it was some creepy ass thing. We were literally just testing. Yeah, no. that was clear and on point. <laughs> like, I mean, we could go down. I don't know what, what halfway point should we stop and try to ghost investigate, or is it possible to use like a spirit box down here? We can try. Yeah. Do you think it would work? I don't even know. Try it. Is it okay to go down the tunnel? It's okay to say tunnel. Tunnel. It did sound like tunnel. Tunnel, tunnel again. again. Are there dead people down there? What did I throw down the tunnel a minute ago? What was it? It bounced down the stairs. Some ball. I, I heard ball or bottle. What color was the ball I threw down the stairs? What? I just heard shuffling down there. Like, like, I swear to God, right. that was fucking creepy. Somebody down there? It's coming in there. Must be one o'clock. Let's get the shit out of here, brother. We didn't even make it down the tunnel, dude. That's for part two, then. What are you gonna say? No, I was gonna say so, guys. Even though we didn't make it to the end of the death tunnel, that's okay because we got a lot of other stuff, and it's not like we can't come back. So, Josh, what's the like goal? How many likes do we need to make a part two? Realistic, let's do a realistic uh, like 50k. 50k? I think they can do 100. 100k is super big. I think they can do 100. Well, I'm going with 50k. <laughs> do, get it to 100. Well, yeah, yeah, get it to 100k. <laughs> Pretty much what we're saying is we're going anyways, cause like it's that good. But get 100k <laughs> likes anyway, please. I think 100,000 likes and you should each take a turn going to the bottom of the body shoot Oh, by yourself. that's true. Oh, up, and up and down. That's a great idea. Well, probably you two. Yeah, you're not like, gonna do it, Josh. I might have to, maybe, maybe I'll grow a pair of balls and I'll go do it next time. I think for 100,000 you should. Yeah, yeah, yeah. all right, for real. 100,000 likes and I'll do that by myself. I'll finally do something by myself. If it has 100,000 likes, that's 100%. How many will it take for you? I'll do it for 100,000. Yeah? Okay. If it gets 100,000 likes, I'll actually do something by myself. All right, both of us will. Yeah.